Hey everybody, my name is Johannes Frey, but you can simply call me Joe, and I've been working as a software engineer for more than 15 years, and I'm here to share uh, the few little things that I picked up along the way. And today, let's talk about whether certifications are a good idea for landing a job in machine learning or data engineering, and whether certifications are a good idea in general. So, let's dive in. As I said before, my background is in software engineering and I've worked in this field for over 10 years before I decided that I want to see something new. That was the point when machine learning and data engineering and stuff like that grabbed my attention. And I was thinking to myself, how the hell can I land a job or how can I switch the profession? And my first thought was of course, Oh yeah, then do some online classes, do some certifications and try to learn it and also have a paper that you can show to potential clients. And this is what I basically did. I started doing all the online classes that I could find on the usual platforms like Coursera or Udemy. At some point I then even yeah, forked out some real money and paid over 5,000 euro for a certification in a well-known German um, facility and I even did this twice and so I spent over 10,000 euros for those two certifications which are like I don't know I think 5,000 euro are probably something around 5,700 dollars so just to give you an idea and the final thing that I also did was I started a master's degree next to working full-time so that was a um, kind of like distance study uh, degree so I also did that but I probably will keep my experience with that uh, for another video so uh, yeah let's talk about certifications but before we do that please consider going completely nuts on that like button and also please consider leaving a comment down below and tell me about your experience, your thoughts, and yeah, what you have to say about this topic. So what are actually the pros of doing certifications and paying money to actually get those nice uh, papers that you can then show to potential clients or employers? So one of those pros would be that you show your willingness to learn new things, right? So you show potential clients or uh, employers that you are willing to spend your spare time, your free time that you would otherwise use for, I don't know, doing sports, riding the bike, whatever, to actually sit down and learn stuff. And um, that might be important for, for some employers because they see that you are dedicated and that you really want it. And that it's not just a job for you to earn money, but that you actually passionate about it. Another pro would be that you would actually learn something. So after that certification you will probably know one or two things more than you have known before, right? Whether this is worth the money in the end depends probably on the certification, but um, yeah, so you will probably gain some knowledge in one form or the other. But we will talk about the knowledge part also a bit later. And another thing is that you also have to sometimes know your weaknesses, right? If you know that you are not that disciplined to actually sit down and learn on your own or do things and experience things on your own, then it's nothing wrong about knowing your limitations and actually working around them by uh, subscribing to some sort of certification or online class where you then have a schedule where you also maybe need to hand in some work to be graded or whatever um, yeah that could kind of force you to actually sit down and learn something which is also kind of a benefit if in the other case you wouldn't do anything right but they are not just pros for uh, certifications there are actually also some cons so what would be the cons for um, doing those certifications or gaining lots of um, certifications to put into your CV. I've been on the other side of the table. I interviewed people that wanted to join the team or the project and whenever I saw somebody with lots of certifications, it was kind of a red flag for me because that kind of basically means that that person doesn't have real work experience. So he tries to compensate with certificates, right? So you have to be cautious about it, that you don't send the wrong signals to potential employers. Because certificates and the classes and courses that you do are not actual experience, if I may say so. Because they're often 
prepared and kind of straightforward. They don't make you face the problems that you would in a real project. You have to take those certifications with a grain of salt, I would say. Um, as I said, it's a good way to prove um, that you are passionate about it, but don't overdo it and at some point try to actually gain some experience in doing stuff on your own. And I have a video about that. I probably published it last week or so. So you can check it out. But after this video, not now. Another con that I would say is that those certifications are sometimes somewhat expensive for what you actually get. Knowledge is everywhere nowadays, right? I mean, you can learn basically everything of the internet, of YouTube tutorials, of whatever. So you usually don't have to pay huge sums of money to actually get a certificate and to actually get the paper. So when you're in an interview and you're able to prove your point that you have um, done something, that you experienced problems and tell the uh, person on the other side of the table how you tried to overcome the, the, the problems that will actually help much more than having this uh, nice paper to show for. And also some certifications, of course not all of them, are more on the theoretical side of things. And this is also not that um, useful in the real world, because in the real world it's about getting your hands dirty and so paying lots of money for um, getting theoretical knowledge. As I said, if you don't have the discipline to do it by yourself, it might be a good idea, but also you could just save the money and do the work. So to stop rambling and to sum things up a bit, I would say it's a good idea to do uh, some online classes and um, some courses um, on like on Coursera or whatever, but don't um, learn for the sake of learning because also knowledge that you have that is not applied is not worth anything in the end. So at some point, you will need to actually do something and to start some sort of demo project and um, actually apply those things that you have learned in, the, in all those courses and classes to a real world scenario or at least yeah, in some sort of a demo scenario where you can then face problems, read documentation, do all those things that matter. But I don't really think that many certifications, again, not all of them, um, are worth actually the money. Um, for what you are getting out. This paper usually, I mean, yes, it's a nice thing, but I don't think that it will have that much of an impact on a future uh, employer than you might think it will. And also, yeah, it's just some crazy amount of money sometimes. You could use it more wisely in other places, I would say. 5,000 euro twice. Uh, and again, if you're not sure how to tackle this, at least last week I posted a video uh, with an approach that you could use, for example, to dive deeper into data engineering and where I then explain what steps you could, um, what steps you could use to actually increase your skills and learn things that matter and things that will be useful when you apply for jobs. So that's basically it for the video. I hope you liked it. And if so, consider going completely insane on that um, like button, subscribe button, leave a comment down below whether you agree with me or you think that I'm full of shit. And yeah, so see you in the next video and bye-bye.